Hi everyone, it's Yan. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my everyday makeup routine, which is just this face right here. So, if you're interested in seeing how I do this, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I want to do is get my hair out of my way. And sometimes I clip my hair, but this time I'm going to use this headband here. It has little cat ears on it. I think it's really cute. So you always want to cleanse your face in the morning. And after you do that, you want to moisturize. The first thing I do after I moisturize is I prime my face with NYX Tea Tree Balanced Skin Serum and Primer. I'm just going to put that all over my face. And once my primer is dried, I'm going to apply my foundation. Today I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I have this in the shade Sand. And I take two pumps of that onto the back of my hand and I use a clean beauty sponge and just pat it on my face. And once I have my foundation blended out, I'm going to go in with my favorite concealers. These are the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Erasers. And I have these in the shades Honey and Light. I'm going to take Light pump it twice and then go right under my eyes and a V shape I'm also going to take some on my eyelid I'm going to take the shade honey and go right on the edge of where my light concealer stops. I'm going to blend that in. So to set my concealer, I'm going to use my Airspun Loose Powder. I use this to set my under eyes all the time and it works great. What I like to do is take it on a dry sponge, like this so. Pop out any creasing and apply this right underneath. And once I'm done setting my under eyes, I usually just tap the excess powder that I put on my nose. I don't like leaving it to sit on there too long. I usually just let my under eyes sit while I do my eyebrows. So today I'm going to use the Natural Duo Brow by Pixie. This is in the color Deep Brown. I really like this product because it has a gel on one side. You see that? And it has a pencil on the other. Just going to fill these in. And brush it one last time. And this is how I basically do my eyebrows every day. I wait to do the brow gel until later because I'm going to be putting on bronzer and dusting off the under eye powder and all of that and I don't want it landing in my eyebrows. Now that I've done filling in my eyebrows, I'm just going to take my L'Oreal Lab Palette Nude 1. I'm going to take third color right here, which is a pretty nude, cool toned brown. So I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush and put it right into the crease. I usually don't try to do this little wing here, but it always just ends up happening. I think it's because of the way my eyes are shaped. Like, they're really hooded. So this part overhangs by a lot. So anytime I go like this and blend in my eyeshadow, it kind of turns into a kind of cat eye thing, which I don't hate, but I don't always go for. Since I put concealer on my eyelids, this area actually stays pretty light. If I don't go over it with any eyeshadow, I actually really like how that looks, so I usually just leave it that way. Right now I'm just going to dust all this away. Now I'm just going to take the same brush, pinch it, this. I'm going to take the same color and put that right under my bottom lashes. Mm, 
once I finish that step, usually take a shimmery shade. I'm just going to take the lightest one in this palette and just go right under the brow bone. Next, I'm going to take my eyeliner. This is just the Essence Gel Waterproof Eyeliner. I usually don't go all the way into the corner with my eyeliner. I just concentrate on the outer two-thirds and then really concentrate on the edge. Then I'm going to still take the same eyeliner and just go about a third of the way on my bottom waterline. Next, I'm going to move on to my bronzer, and I'm going to take the next matte bronzer in the shade Medium. I'm going to take a little bit of that on a fluffy brush. Technically, it's a buffing brush, but it's okay. I'm going to take it across my hairline, above my temples, down the side. under my jawline, or where my jawline would be. Next, I'm going to put do my blush, and this is the NYX Ombre Blush in the color Mauve Me. And here's what it looks like. I'm just going to pat that and blend it onto my cheeks. I'm going to take the Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm going to use the shade and I'm going to use the shade Dripping in Gold. I'm just going to go right above where my blush was. Just dust that on. And I'm going to take it on my nose just a little bit. And above my brows. And I don't usually put highlighter on my chin because I feel like it comes out enough on its own, so I don't want to bring it out more. And since I haven't done my mascara yet, I'm going to take Sunburst. It's the lightest shade in here. I'm going to put it right in the corner. And before I forget, I'm going to go back over my brows with the brow gel from the Pixie Natural Brow Duo. And finally, we're going to do mascara. And for this, and I switch up my mascara every day. I really don't have a favorite one that I use every single day. So today we're going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And curl my eyebrows. I usually pump it a couple of times and then hold it for about 15 seconds. And most days I don't really put on lipstick. I love lipstick, but a lot of days I don't feel like dealing with it. So, Especially since it's my last step in my makeup, I just feel like stopping. No, I'm gonna do lipstick. Okay. And for my last step, I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Lingerie Lipstick in the shade Exotic. Usually, I like to line my lips, but I find with this lip liquid lipstick, I don't feel like I really need to. And that is my whole look. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!